I saw an article in the, uh, it was kind of on the Newswire. It said that, and for any of you that, that uh, know comedians, this might not be that big a surprise. It said that comedians have psychopathic tendencies. <laughs> and I just didn't really know why it had to be framed so negative. Like, that, like the way they put it was like, oh, you know, so comedians have psychopathic tendencies. But I thought it should have been like a feel-good story. Because the way I look at it is that I've been a fucking psychopath way longer than I've been a comedian. You know what I mean? I've been a psychopath the whole time. At least I'm telling jokes now. Or the crazy shit I used to get up to when I was just a fucking psychopath. It should have been a feel-good story. Like, hey, good news, everybody. Crazy people are spending more time trying to make you laugh than dig your shallow grave. <laughs> I think I, I think uh, probably most uh, most artists have psychopathic tendencies. Like a Hitler was an artist for fuck's sakes. Imagine if you could go back to 1922 Germany, how much we would support Hitler's art. Like, come on, man, go to this guy's gallery. Adolf, that is a beautiful fucking dog, buddy. Just keep painting for fuck's sakes. <laughs> Most of these crazy fucking warlords were probably artistic side. I'm pretty sure Genghis Khan had a garage band or some shit. I think that should be that should be Canada Arts slogan. Hey, support the arts or see what happens. We'll find some other shit to do.